Hi and welcome to the 14th issue of the Great British Locomotive Collection. This is the 100 and the Midland Compound. As you notice I'm doing this outside on the location at the Millersdale station. This used to be an old Midland Railway line. Not much of it today. That's the station down over there. That's the old platform, platform one, platform two. The train used to come across there. Anyway, back to the magazine. Take this off. So on the back is, uh, this is the Midland, uh, built, well we built, well 1902 to 1909, we built 1913 to 1928, this is the wheels, how many, we've got four, four, show you in a second, how many tons, how high the wheel is, how length it is, I think that's the pulling power. This is my first ever red engine I've got here. As you can see. People in the background. And so you are inside the cab. This is the Midland Railway compound. Uh, see, 440 means there's four wheels front, four driving wheels, and none at the back. That's the tender. But it looks like the wheels don't turn around. Let's have a look at the magazine. Can you remember 15 next week? Uh, the BR standard M4MT tank class. Going back to this week's. 
seen in the typical double headed formation, the Fowler LMS compound 440 number 939 leads classmate. Nice black and white photo there. Oops, trouble doing it outside, it gets very windy. Elegance on the Midland. Dearly Midland compound 440 number 1024. Wait to depart from Leeds Wellington with an express from London St Pancras 1911. Sorry about the wind. Oops. Everything's going flying. Didn't really think this through. LMS standards. Designer John Johnson Dealey. Oh, Johnson Dealey and Fowler. Built 1902 to 1932. Withdrawn 1951 to 1961. Purpose of the express passenger. Coal capacity is five and a half tons. Uh, those are the old atomy, the chimney, the boiler, built the MR compound, the, had dearly G9 saturated boilers that operated at 229 PSI, later upgraded to G9 AS superhead heated specifications, master cab there. That's the tender, as I said. Loose there's the driving wheel. That's the cylinder there. Wait till about the rivals compared. This is like the profile. Then long lived design. Nice black and white photos there. There was a seat and a nice colour photo seen here lined out in 1950 in BR livery which matched stock from the same period from X LMS. An original survivor. Did you know on April 12th, 1947, X-Million compound number 104 was hauled passengers train that were dearly near Keedley, West Yorkshire when a bridge collapsed underneath it. Well, that didn't sound too good. In 1959 at Blackpool, the Daily Mail sponsored a, re a repaint number 41101 for an handicap special to the seaside town which can be seen in its ghastly glory with yellow boilers and cinders and red cap and splashes. Honourable retirement. So surviving Midland compound takes part in the Scot Scotton Darlington Railway 150th anniversary. Want to know more? on the sellotape here.
Oops. As, as ever, they always had a photograph on the back page. The interesting view was taken at Letchfield Trent Valley in April 1955 and shows an ex-LMS Fowler compound number 41105 piloting the unidentified Stanner Black 5. And so two different steam engines together. The uh, Midland compound and the Stanner Black 5. Well, that's that. I don't think I'll take it off this time as I'm outside. I was going to, but I won't now. But I actually see that the wheels don't actually spin round. Um, I'll do a little bit extra as I'm at Millersdale Station. So I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye.